Grunty gang, 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 grunty Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Jane Grady back with another video. Now, look, check this out. Recently, I just went to the thrift store, right? I'm sorry, I know I didn't bring y'all along with me, man. But look, um, basically, I went to the thrift shop. I picked up a couple of things, and one of them was this jacket. Now, um, searching around the internet and stuff, I came across a Balenciaga jacket, right? And then I was like, dang, I'm not trying to drop a whole thousand dollar plus on a jacket so um like i kind of been on the search of a similar looking jacket and when i went to the thrift shop i found this jacket here man and i just couldn't resist it it's really similar to the one so basically what this video is going to be is um comparing this jacket this thrift shop thrift shop ten dollar jacket to the thousand dollar balenciaga jacket so what i'm about to do right now is you already see this jacket um basically what it is is an alpine design gore-tex not all the way sure what that means, but that's probably like the technology of the jacket. But I'm comparing this jacket to one of the Balenciaga jackets. Now I'm gonna pull it up. Now it's kind of like in the middle between these Balenciaga jackets. Um, it's a Balenciaga oversized parka jacket. I'm gonna put it up here on the screen. And then it's like a Balenciaga like windbreaker. So it's kind of like a mix in between the two. It's not as oversized as like um, the oversized parka. And it doesn't sit like exactly the same. But for the most part, like the general look of it is really similar. Now, Balenciaga, I don't own this jacket. I wish I could have purchased this jacket to show y'all in the video, but you know, I'm not all the way up yet. I don't got a thousand dollars to just drop on a jacket to show in the video. But um, basically for me looking at it, um, from like my standpoint of it is, really you're paying for the combination of materials, the combination of um, cuts, it's just a, a lot that goes into this, like the whole vision of how they wanted this jacket to look, prepping it, coming up with the designs, and then actually getting it made is really what you're paying for. So do I think it's worth a thousand dollars? Probably not. Do I think it's worth a couple of hundred dollars? Yes, definitely. So just looking at it, um, this jacket hangs a lot different than this jacket right here. Um, I'll show you guys how this jacket hangs um, in a little bit, but I just want to start off with the Balenciaga one. It hangs on the shoulders a lot different. Now I see a couple of these and they have like this strap that goes over your neck so that it gives you that shoulder drop that a lot of people are looking for. But pretty much just adding the extra details to this jacket is really what gives it that price point. It has a nice Balenciaga um, branding in the back. Um, of like the collar of the neck um, Some of these don't have hoods This one has a hood So that's why I was saying It's kind of like a combination between the two um, The straps on it Where you like zip it up The Velcro on it is probably very high quality um, But besides that It's probably super warm So just saying that right there That's why You know what I'm saying The price point is what it is But if you don't have that money to drop on this, then you can go ahead and pick this up for $10. I'm about to show y'all how this looks. Now, basically, I'm just gonna explain the jacket as I'm showing it off to you, but um, kind of like similar to the Balenciaga ones, it has the straps along the side, along with the zipper. Now, this jacket actually has a couple of nice details. You have like drawstrings in it, which I don't know it. This one actually might be kind of broken maybe that's why i was at the thrift shop but it doesn't really matter it's not like i was going to use it anyway um but it has a nice little drawstring on the inside it has one on the other side as well zippers are all working good and the inside it has this nice little pocket or like pouch on the side of it um it's like a mesh material so it's really like a windbreaker more than a coat or a winter coat so really you just kind of want to layer it up i'm going to show you guys how i styled it but um, in this inside right here, it has this nice little pouch or zipper pocket, which is better than the other one because the other one doesn't have a zipper. So um, in the front, it has two pockets. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah, two pockets. So it has this bottom one that's kind of like a cargo pocket. Then it has the top like hidden zipper pocket, which is very useful. On the other side, it has pretty much the exact same thing. Um, the back of it, it has the hood, like I said, and then it also has like that nice collar neck 
to it. I wish the collar was a little bit stiffer. That's probably something that the Balenciaga one has that this one doesn't. It is like the way they constructed it is so that it will give off that certain look. So this one is kind of like floppy. You can fold it if you wanted to. I personally am not gonna fold it. So I wish it was stiffer, but I mean, you gotta work with what you got. Then it has like these nice little black paneled um, kind of like pads. They're not padded at all, but like that's what it kind of looks like. It has one up by the shoulder as well in the black color. So it kind of gives it like a cool little pattern um, instead of that all one like green color, greenish bluish color, whatever you want to call that. So that's pretty much it for that jacket. Um, but basically, um, I'm about to show y'all how I styled it. Now I had like three different looks for this. Um, I basically just wanted to match up some hoodies that went with this color. So I got this blue hoodie right here, which is a Thrasher collab hoodie with Huff. Um, I'm pretty sure it sold out, but if I can find it, I'll link it down in the description. But I had this hoodie, I had a Stussy hoodie, then I had that Anarchist Worldwide hoodie that I showed in a previous video. But those are pretty much only the hoodies. I'm just gonna interchange them. Then what I did was I threw on the um, Uncle Milty vest by Rothko. A lot of you were asking about that vest, but that's where I got it from. I'll try to link it down below. That's what I threw on top of the hoodie just to give it a little more of a tech feel. Cause when I think of this jacket, I think of like, um, kind of like that, that tech outfit. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of like a tech outfit. So that gives it like that extra pattern, the extra layer, especially if you want to wear this in the winter. Um, and then on top of that, just to give it a nice little flow or like an accessory, I threw on this Stussy shoulder bag that I probably showed previously as well. But that's pretty much what I threw on with it. I had these black pants on as well. You could pretty much throw on any black shoe or I probably went through on a white shoe, but probably like an old school Vans or something is what I would throw on with this. But that's pretty much it for the video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you go down and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And if you want to be part of this growing Grunty Gang family, make sure you hit that bell button so you can be part of the notification gang. So that's pretty much it for the video, man. Share this to a friend if you think they need advice on how to look more expensive with a thrift shop piece or something like that. I don't know, man, but that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back to you with more, of course. Peace. I just want to ball, tell my haters that I'm sorry. Yeah, I want it all, tell me who is gonna.